I'm an anti-statist because I'm an anarchist. And I'm a libertarian because I'm an anarchist. Now, what would that mean in general? Well, simple as this. Stateless societies offer more advantages or different advantages than ones with a state. Sans state, there's certain things that you can do and have and conditions that can't occur with a state. And although not all stateless societies are anarchists, all anarchist societies are stateless because it's dependent on it. And what does anarchism need besides the state? It needs voluntary associations. And why is um, libertarianism so dependent on that? Well, because voluntary associations is one liberty. So you can see how it's sandwiched together. And with this giant sandwich of what makes my views that's kind of how I try and connect everything. Now, I'm a capitalist, but that's my ideology. However, even though I don't consider capitalism the op absolute, I think that you could be a mutualist or collectivist and still be okay. There's certain ways that uh, I like to defend my capitalist ideals. Now, I don't like the term free markets because if the term freedom is kind of subjective. It's kind of arbitrary. It's psychological. You can gain freedom by just taking a trip to the shrink. You can see that a lot in cults. However, I like to use the term liberated markets. And you might think, well, isn't that the same shit? It's less confusing. Liberties has to deal with social interactions and political interactions and so, and so much different things. It's much more metaphysical than just freedom. And that's very important because I use terms like free markets less and less now and liberated markets more. Why? Well, think about this. You got the term, little word liberty. That means that this is just me trying to advance liberty. Now let's see how I can move it down, bring it down to anarchism from the top bottom. Well, one thing that's liberty happens to be voluntary association. And the thing about free markets is that the advantages are more voluntary for the public. It's not like a, the corporations or people who run the slaves there's a lot more voluntary associations. And sure there are times like slavery where slavery was something that was voluntary and people would like voluntarily agree to be slaves, but that isn't always the case. And nowadays um, slavery is looked at as a metaphysical horror story. Now, how do I connect anarchism to anti-statism through ultimately connecting this to my free market capitalist views or my liberated market views? Well, that's the last thing you can get to, and it's the best one. In order to have these voluntary associations, you can't have a state, a state which depends upon certain things to run its little fantasy structure, it could be wealth, 
Wolf is great in running those little means of the state survival. And once you get that, once you get rid of that state, those voluntary associations become possible. And through that voluntary association, then you have liberty. And at this point, you have your argument set up. And then you can defend your little views with his from his replies, which that points up to you. Now, once you say this, you can actually consider yourself to have a very good defense if anyone derails you for having free market views or liberated markets like I say it. All right, so I'm pretty much done here. All right, this, this is the end of my video, and you guys can suck my dick.